Hey guys, we are back at Starlight Drive-In, and today we have some operator-controlled structures that close off the backside of the settlement. Today's video is the tour. If you're interested in seeing how anything was built, I will have a video with the full build process out in a day or two. It was just going to be way too long to have both of them in the same video. I had a lot of fun putting this one together and I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's get started, shall we? So here we are at the first dwelling. Looks like it's a shipping container they pieced together with some wood and different corrugated steel. And of course we have a table with some human remains on it. And a magazine it looks like. Well, that guy has been pretty busy. Of course there's a bloody sign on the wall as well. Have some tools there. And a syringer with some ammo leaning up against the crate. Gee, this guy seems pretty dangerous. Uh, I wonder what's going through his mind, if anything at all. Now, exiting out the back of the structure, we have a little courtyard. Nice junky vibe to it. You can see uh, some meats hanging underneath that storage area there. And it looks like a bear driving a truck. I don't know if he can see over that dashboard. And of course we just have various ammo and supplies here. A little bit of a view over the back wall. Not much to see other than the hill, but what are you going to do? I really like that step there with the center block and the uh, ply board. Nice and simple. And that brings us to our first lounge area. Looks like a little bit of a party. Card game there. Not going too well for somebody with a knife stabbed into the table. And being upstairs here, we get a decent view of the rest of the settlement. Looks like you can see a bit of the operator market there. And then, uh, I can't quite make out the bar. Looks like you can see some housing, the arena off in the distance there. And we got some food cooking on this rooftop. Oh, there's the bar. Now in this lounge area, it looks like we have some alcohol set out. Looks like a couple of meals little pipe revolver on the table there and of course you have some chems as well ah the life of a raider now we can head back across this bridge here back down into the courtyard got a little uh, laser turret there keeping an eye out on things peek out over the wall to the uh, little forced labor farm they have. And a uh, destroyed fridge. Why not? And I really like this tight alleyway we have here. Shows off the mix of materials uh, in this build and a little bit of the chain link windows that I um, started using over there in Hangman's Alley. There's quite a few of those in this build. I really like the way it looks. And in here, we have another dwelling. Looks like we have a little uh, chem station laid out. As well as some plants for chem making there. And uh, a truck bed with a mattress in it. 
Why not? The Nuka Cola Wild, it looks like. I mean, they are from Nuka World after all. Makes sense. A little better look at that chem station there. Now we can head out here past this overturned truck and we have our scrap processing area. So we come across the first, or maybe the second junk pile. Quite a lot of stuff there ready for processing. Looks like a TV and various junk inside that bathtub there. Car frame leaning, leaning up against the uh, little shack there. And here we have our scrap workshop. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Looks like another uh, smaller junk pile there. Even got a fire barrel inside of the uh, cab of that truck. We have a reloading bench here. A little easier to make your own ammo than scavenge for it. Then of course uh, we have some supplies and materials here for you know, breaking down different scrap that they find. This one's also made out of a destroyed shipping container. And of course we have a nice view of the uh, car there. I mean, it is a drive-in, so imagine cars would be readily available. Nice and cozy, with the nice low ceiling there. Now over here, we have a little cooking area again. This time just a fire, looks like they're roasting some meat and... Geez, what is that, uh, rad roach meat too? Not my first choice of meal. Coming over here, we have another sleeping area. And another junk pile. Looks like a toilet and a door. Not much of a pile. Yeah, looks like uh, some chems and Nuka Cola laid out. And is that a luck bobblehead? I wonder where he found that. I really like using the second car there as a ramp to get up to the first one. Uh, I'm gonna do more of that, I think. Now heading over here, we have our gunsmith. Some can chimes there to alert anyone coming in. And in this corner here, we have uh, explosives manufacturing. Quite a bit of supplies there, and looks like some grenades and mines. And over here, we have our gunsmith area. Looks like he has quite a bit of weaponry on the wall. Little uh, weapons workbench in the corner there as well. Some ammo bins. A little workbench here. Looks like a disassembled pistol, some other mods and weapons, mentats if you, you know, need to uh, have a little higher intelligence. A little waste basket with some guns ready to be worked on. A nice uh, scrappy shelf there as well. Now let's head out and check out the top of this structure. Of course we have some operator colors there, just to let everybody know what side of town you're on. It's a better look at the overall structure. Now let's head upstairs. Now 
Now that brings us to another lounge area. I guess as a raider you spend a lot of time hanging out. Looks like we have a rifle and some ammo there. A little bit of seating. Plenty of alcohol and chems. Now we can head across this uh, makeshift bridge and the top of that car we saw earlier. And we can check out where the gunsmith lives. Kind of up here and tucked away from everybody. Looks like we have uh, some guns and ammo laid out and a teddy bear keeping an eye on things. I hear those things are dangerous. We better get out of here. Decent view of some of the settlement there. Now we can head back this way and check out a little storage area on top of the trunk of that car. Looks like just some armor there and some crates. And of course you have a, another turret keeping an eye on things. It looks like uh, some ammo as well. Some fusion cells, probably for the laser turret. And here we are at the wall. You can see it's a decent mix of wood with the chain link fence lets you see through it. So even if you're not on duty, you can see if anyone's approaching. Of course, there's a spotlight there. Illuminate the area for the guard. Now let's check out the outside of the wall. Definitely does not look inviting. Plenty of spikes and wrecked cars. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. Well, all right then. Uh, I told you they were dangerous. Let's get out of here. Now we can see a better look at that uh, guard station there. I really like using these cars in particular for guard stations. They just fit in really well with that flat back and a little spot for a turret there. And the sandbags work really well for hiding anything that's clipping with other objects. Looks like we have a little uh, operator warning there. I had a lot of fun putting that uh, mannequin stand together out of the car. And then the outside of the wall is pretty much just some shipping containers and wood. I particularly like this one here where the car pokes through a little bit and then of course some chain link as well and a car frame wall there. If you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like. Drop me a comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts about this build or any of my other builds. Subscribe if you want to see when my next video goes live. We should be back here at Starlight. I also have a couple of ideas for a Covenant build. And I need to revisit Murkwater Construction Site just to add a couple of small touches. And if you're interested in seeing how any of this was put together, the build guide will be out within the next couple of days. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And until then... Enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.